Knowledge is a major and significant ingredient for safety. During the next few minutes, you will learn some basic rules and instructions associated with safe operation of utility vehicles. It is important that you and everyone who operates a utility vehicle understands proper vehicle operation and recognizes situations that could result in an accident, injuring yourself or someone with you. Because young operators may not be able to control the vehicle, no one under the age of 16 should be allowed to operate the vehicle. Do not leave children unattended on the vehicle. The Operation and Maintenance Manual, or Owner's Manual, is your primary guide for safe operation. Read and understand the manuals before attempting to operate or service the vehicle. Never use the utility vehicle without instructions. You will see this safety alert symbol throughout the presentation, as well as in the manual and on vehicle safety signs. It identifies important safety messages. When you see it, be alert to the possibility of serious injury or death. Read and follow all safety and operation signs on the vehicle. Replace them if they are missing or damaged. This symbol points out actions you should avoid to reduce the potential for injury. Before operating, be sure you're familiar with the controls. The key switch is located on the dash. The accelerator pedal is the pedal on the right. The brake pedal is located to the left of the accelerator pedal. A forward reverse handle is used to select your direction of travel. It has three positions, forward, neutral, and reverse. The handle must be in the neutral position to start the engine. A park brake is provided on all models to prevent the vehicle from rolling when parked. Follow the pre-operation and daily safety checklist found in the manual. Include checking fluid levels, such as brake fluid, fuel, engine oil, and coolant if applicable. Keep the utility vehicle clean of debris and properly maintained. Check the tires for proper inflation pressures. Operating with tires that have improper inflation pressures can affect the vehicle's handling capabilities and its stability. Before servicing the vehicle, place the forward reverse handle in the neutral position. Engage the park brake, stop the engine, and remove the key. And chalk the wheels. Allow the engine and exhaust system to cool before servicing. Remove all cargo before raising the bed and servicing the vehicle. If the vehicle is equipped with a cargo bed prop rod, securely engage it to prevent the bed from falling, causing serious injury or death. An electric bed lift is standard on some models and is offered as an option on others. If servicing the all-wheel drive vehicle with only part of the vehicle supported with jack stands, never operate the engine and shift the forward reverse handle in forward or reverse. This will cause the vehicle to drive and fall off the jack stand, causing serious injury or death. Do not run the engine in an enclosed area without proper ventilation. Exhaust fumes can kill or cause serious illness. Servicing should be done in a well-ventilated area. Keep sparks and flames away from the vehicle and service area. Batteries contain explosive gases. Make sure there is proper ventilation when they are being charged. Stop and cool the engine before adding fuel. Because a spark from static electricity could ignite gasoline vapors, ground your fuel source to the vehicle before and during fueling operation. Do not smoke when fueling. Do not use the utility vehicle in an atmosphere with explosive dust or gases or where the exhaust can contact flammable material. Explosion or fire can result. Some types of utility vehicles are equipped with a rollover protective structure or ROPS and seat belts for restraint. Inspect the structure for damage before operating. Never remove or modify the ROPS and replace it if it is damaged. ROPS with seat belts can be installed on some other models. Check with your dealer for availability of ROPS and seat belts. Make sure seat hinges and latches are securely engaged before operating the vehicle. For models equipped with an adjustable seat and steering wheel, adjust to a comfortable position. Securely fasten the seat belts if equipped. Only one person is allowed per seat at any one time. 
never attempt to start the vehicle or operate it from outside the operator's position. Accidental movement of the vehicle could cause serious injury or death to yourself or a bystander. To start the vehicle, make sure the forward reverse handle is in the neutral position. The engine will not start unless the handle is in the neutral position. Press and hold the brake pedal. Turn the key all the way to the start position and hold. Release the key switch when the engine starts. If your utility vehicle has a gasoline engine, you may have to engage the choke if the engine is cold. Similarly, if your vehicle has a diesel engine, it is equipped with a glow plug for preheating in cold weather. Make sure bystanders are clear before you move the vehicle. Release the park brake. While keeping the brake pedal engaged, select the direction of travel. Release the brake pedal completely and then slowly press the accelerator pedal to move the vehicle in the selected direction of travel. Operate the vehicle slowly until you become comfortable with the controls. Always look in the direction of travel and keep bystanders away from the vehicle. Keep your head, arms and legs inside the vehicle while it is moving. Do not operate the vehicle while under the influence of alcohol, drugs or medications. Do not modify the vehicle. Modifications can cause instability or vehicle handling or travel speeds that are too high. This could cause serious injury or death to the operator or passenger. Do not allow riders in the cargo bed. Riding in the cargo bed can cause serious injury or death. Do not use the vehicle on public roads. It is not designed or intended for street use and should not be licensed for use on public roads. Slow down when turning. Drive slowly straight up or down slopes. Do not drive across slopes. Avoid stopping a loaded vehicle on a hill. Avoid quick starts or sudden stops. To prevent vehicle rollover, drive slowly and reduce the cargo bed load on uneven or loose terrain. Avoid steep slopes, drop-offs and unstable surfaces. Reduce speed for adverse driving conditions such as wet grass, loose or rough terrain. Driving too fast under these conditions could cause tipping and result in injury and damage to the vehicle. Before leaving the vehicle, place the forward reverse handle in the neutral position. Firmly set the park brake and make sure it is fully engaged. Stop the engine and remove the key. On models with gasoline engines, turn the fuel shutoff valve to the closed or off position if storing or transporting the vehicle. Before loading the cargo bed, engage the park brake. Do not exceed the vehicle rated capacity. Check the vehicle loading decal for maximum rated capacities of the vehicle. The vehicle rated capacity is the combined weight of the operator and passenger, the cargo bed load, and the gross trailer weight. Accessories must also be included in the weight. The vehicle rated capacity is for level surfaces only. Do not place loads on the tailgate. The tailgate should be up and securely latched while moving. Make sure the cargo is evenly distributed and well secured. Avoid top-heavy or unsecured loads that could cause loss of load or vehicle rollover, causing serious injury or death. Avoid sudden starts, stops and turns with a loaded or empty vehicle. Operate the controls smoothly. Never overload the vehicle. Overloading can affect vehicle handling and cause loss of control or a rollover causing serious injury or death. Use extreme caution when towing a trailer. Do not exceed the vehicle rated capacity or maximum trailer hitch tongue weight. When transporting the utility vehicle, always make sure the transport vehicle and trailer are of adequate capacity. Use ramps of adequate strength. Drive the utility vehicle onto the trailer. Place the forward reverse handle in neutral. Engage the park brake. Stop the engine and remove the key. Secure the seats to the vehicle. Secure the vehicle to the trailer using tie downs. On models with gasoline engines, turn the fuel shutoff valve to the closed position before transporting. 
Becoming a proficient utility vehicle operator requires knowledge, skill, and good judgment. Be that operator. It's impossible to cover every situation you could encounter on the job, but viewing this presentation is one way to work toward those goals. For additional information, technical specifications, or other information on club car equipment, see www.clubcar.com.